previous public hearing of the Committee on Public Works is hereby called to order. Good afternoon, yes. Chairman. Yes. Good afternoon, Chairman. Yes. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, Chairman. This time I would like to ask the director Michael S. Engineer Akiliana P. Desilo, Engineer for the PWU. Um, Mr. Maximo Montana from the PWU and Mr. Brian Sabdala. We also have Engineer Toledo. From the National Historical Commission, Mr. Alvin R. Alcid, OIC, Office of the Deputy Director. Also, has here Honorable Alan Duhani, Steve W. Martin. We have Honorable Faustino Inodi, representative of the 6th District in Savannah. Honorable Wilson K. Garcia, representative of the 2nd District. Honorable Mario Vitorio Marvi and Marie, representative of the 5th District Batangas. Attorney Georgie Decal, Chief of Staff of Honorable Jenny Salimbangon, representative of the 4th District of Cebu. Mr. Joel Montealto, Chief of Staff of Representative Ilma Santos Recto. Representative of the 6th District of Batangas, Honorable Gerardo F. Valmayor, Representative First District Negros Occidental, Honorable Ansar Dean Abdul Malik E. Adjong, Representative First District Lanao del Sur, Honorable Edgar M. Chapo, Representative First District Bohol, Honorable Pablo John F. Garcia, Third District Representative and Deputy Speaker. Honorable Diego Nonoy T, First District, Isamis Occidental. Honorable Emery Lollipop Uano Dizon, Representative, Sixth District of Cebu. Honorable Joel Mayo Almario, Representative, Second District, Davao Oriental. Honorable Florida Rida F. Robes, Representative, Lone District of San Jose del Monte City. Honorable Rufus B. Rodriguez, Representative, Second District, Cagayan de Oro City, and Deputy Speaker. Honorable Leta C. Suarez, Representative, Third District of Quezon. Uh, Honorable Abdullah Dimaporo. And we have Congressman. Jesus F. Madrona, the chairman of the House Committee on uh, Public Works and Highways. The following are the bills, SBN 2397, District Engineering Office, in the first legislative district of the province of Negros Occidental, introduced by Senator Subiri, House Bill Number 9824, District Engineering Office, first legislative district of Negros Occidental, House Bill Number 9145, renumbering the first, second, third, and fourth district HBN 9153, District Engineering Office, second legislative district. HBN 9154, district engineering office, district Batangas. HBN district, HBN 9155, district engineering office, 66 district Isabela. 
9390, District Engineering Office, Second Legislative District, Davao City. HBN 9391, District Engineering Office, Nueva Vizcaya. HBN 9393, District Engineering Office, Samal, Second Legislative District, Davao del Norte. HBN 9397, District Engineering Office, Second Legislative District of Southern Leyte. HBN 9398, District Engineering Office, Fifth Legislative District of Batangas. For renaming of roads, we have SBN 1325 renaming Mandawi Causeway in the city of Mandawi, Cebu. HBN 7669 naming the Mandawi Causeway as Uwano Avenue. HBN 8147 Juan Macareg Highway, Cebu. HBN 8148 Alfonso Burlat Abduan Ridge, Mitamis Occidental. HBN 8224 8221 Serhing Veloso Osmeña Jr. Bridge in Cebu. HBN 8224, Senator Ahmad Dumapao Alangani Alonso Senior, National Road. HBN 9801, Saturnino R. Silva Road in Carmen, Davao del Norte. HBN 9803, Governor Constancio Chato Toralba Road in Tawala, Panglao, Bohol. For the road bridge tunnel construction, we have SBN 1722, construction of an undersea tunnel or bridge from Cebu City, introduced by Senator Marcos. SBN 1856, Kamanava, Bulacan, Pampanga, Batan, Coastal Road, in the Central Lapid. HBN 9579, Four Lane Viaduct or Bypass Road, San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. HBN 9886, Tri Level Interchange along MC Briones Corner, UN Avenue, Mandawi City, Cebu. HBN 9984, Construction of a Four Lane Skyway in Davao City. HBN 9985, Construction of a National Highway in Lanao del Norte. HBN 9986 Balo E Bypass Road, Balon, Lanao del Norte. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have also another bill I will read later for the 30 year infrastructure. But these are the house uh, Mr. Chair. The answer, DPWH. DPWH. Uh... What can you say about bills filed in this subcommittee for creation of new engineering districts? Do they meet all the requirements? Uh, can you clarify to us? Senator Marcos. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. To the committee members, I'm from the DPWH. I'm Achilina de Silos. If I may read the signed copy on the result of the evaluation on the various house bills on the AO creation, constitution, renumbering, naming, and renaming of various roads and bridges for the stand of the DPWH. Um, for consistency, items are present. I will be reading based on the number indicated in the notice submitted to this department. For House Bill number 9398, an act creating a district engineering office in the fifth legislative district of the province of Batangas and appropriating funds, therefore. If I may read the stand of the DPWH that 
the department follows a pass-fail system wherein deficiency in one aspect would mean an unmeritorious result of evaluation. So for item for House Bill 9398, uh, the creation of the proposed DUO would result in a deficient road length. Not having met the 100 kilometer road length requirement for both the mother DEO and the proposed Batangas 5th DEO having road lengths of 69.93 kilometers only and 73.30 respectively. So for both the, the mother DEO and the proposed DEO, they both failed the road length requirements, Mr. Chair. And for House Bill number 9397, an act creating a district engineering office in the second legislative district of the province of Southern Leyte and appropriating funds therefore. Based on the our RBIA data, the proposed creation of the subject DEO would result to the mother DEO being deficient in length and population requirements with only 94.810 kilometers of national road and population of 242 people left to, admi to administer respectively. Likewise, the proposed second DEO would not meet the 250, kilometer, 250 population requirements per prevailing guidelines under our DO 1110, having a population of only 228. And for the next House Bill, House Bill number 9393, an act creating a district engineering office in the island garden city of Samal, second legislative district of the province of Dabao del Norte, and appropriating funds, therefore, that based on our evaluation, Mr. Chair, for prevailing guidelines, the island garden city of Samal cannot be fair, favorably considered given the current setup of the city's national road network of only 24 kilometers, which is very small in terms of our national road length compared to our minimum requirements of 100 kilometers. For the next house bill, House Bill Number 9391, an act reconstituting the Nueva Vizcaya District Engineering Office in the province of Nueva Vizcaya into three separate district engineering office and appropriating funds therefore. Based on our technical evaluation, the creation of the proposed third DEO would result in a deficient road length and land for the Nueva Vizcaya first DEO, which is the mother DEO, having a road length of 81.63 kilometers and 82.260 kilom kilometers respectively. Likewise, all DEOs did not meet the population of 250 inhabitants. For the next House Bill, Mr. Chair, House Bill number 9390, an act creating a district engineering office in the second legislative district of Davao City and appropriating funds, therefore, for the result of the evaluation, the creation of a separate district engineering office from the second legislative district 
difficult from the existing mother DEO would result in a deficient road length of 78.736 kilometers, leaving the mother DEO with a road length of only 62.804 kilometers, both below the predetermined criterion of 100 kilometers road length. Thus, despite the compliance to population and land area, however, the department follows a fail, pass fail system wherein deficiency in one aspect renders an unmeritorious result of evaluation. However, it is informed that through the issuance of DO number 48, Last 2018, the current Davao City DEO had been upgraded from a second class DEO into a first class DEO. For House Bill number 9155, an act creating a district engineering office in the sixth legislative district of the province of Isabela and appropriating funds therefore. Based on our evaluation, the proposed six DEO would result in the deficient road length for the Isabela Fourth Mother DEO having a road length of 71.280 kilometers. Likewise, the mother and proposed DEO do not meet the road length of 100 kilometers per prevailing guidelines. For the next House Bill, Mr. Chair, House Bill number 9154. An act creating a district engineering office in the 6th legislative district of the province of Batangas and appropriating funds, therefore. The creation of a separate engineering office comprising of Lipa City under the 6th legislative district called from the Batangas City Fort Mother DEO. This would result in a deficient road length of 93, 90, 39 rather. 39.785 kilometers, leaving the mother DEO with a road length of only 97.071 kilometers, both below the predetermined criterion of 100 kilometers road length. Despite the compliance to the population and land area, however, the department follows a fast fail system, so deficiency in one aspect renders an unmeritorious result of evaluation. For the next House Bill, Mr. Chair, House Bill number 9153, an act creating a district engineering office in the second legislative district of the province of Aklan and appropriating funds, therefore. The creation of the proposed DEO would result in a deficient road length, not having met the 100 kilometers road length requirement per prevailing guidelines for both the mother DEO and the proposed Aklan second DEO having road lengths of 74.810 kilometers and 95.660 kilometers respectively. For House Bill number 9145, Mr. Chair, an act renumbering the Cebu 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th District Engineering Offices to conform and correspond respectively with the numbering of the legislative districts in the province of Cebu. The Department interposes no objection on the passage of the aforementioned House Bill to have to harmonize the numerical names of the DEOs with their corresponding legislative districts, especially in the case of the first and second DEOs, what would such numbering would delineate a jurisdiction of each legislative district, thereby clearing up any form of confusion that might ensue among stakeholders and 
effectively respond to the needs of the reapportioned legislative districts for new infra and maintenance of the existing road network being the prime modal objective of the House bill. For House Bill number 109824, Mr. Chair, an act creating a district engineering office in the first legislative district of the province of Negros Occidental and appropriating funds, therefore. And this is also uh, the, the, also under the um, Senate Bill Number Two Three Nine Seven, which is also an act creating a district engineering office in the first legislative district of the province of Negros Occidental, and appropriating funds therefore. So the same uh, content on the House Bill and the Senate Bill. Based on the technical evaluation, it was ascertained that the proposed establishment of another DEO in Negros Occidental to be named Negros Occidental Sub DEO is meritorious, taking into consideration the parameters of 100 kilometers road length, 100 square kilometers land area, and population of 250 and inhabitants based on the O number 1110 series of 2016. By virtue of Department Order number 40-2020, issued on 15 May 2020, the Negros Occidental Sub-DEO yielded a total road length of 229.361 kilometers with an equivalent road length of 278.47 kilometers and shall be classified as first class DEO when it becomes a regular DEO. Its headquarters is provisionally slated to in the city of Escalante pending result of deliberation relative thereto. On the other hand, the mother DEO, which is the Negros Occidental first DEO, yields to 104 a kilometers of road length with a total equivalent road length of 326.50 kilometers which still remain as a first class DEO. That's all for the DEO creations for the house bills related all for the DEO creations. Will I proceed for the naming and renaming, Po? Mr. Chairman, if I may, it's Amy here. Mamaya na lang yung renaming. Mamaya na lang. Okay, po. Okay, po. Thank you very much, Chairman Pacquiao, and greetings to all my friends from the house where I spent 12 long years. Uh, it's a joy to see you all here. Firstly, despite the objections of the DPWH, you and I know that there are developmental concerns, particularly in areas in Mindanao, that are almost entirely unserved by public works. And kumbaga, eh, luging lugi na kayo at huling huli na ang Mindanao. Kaya may mga areas po tayo, katulad rin ng Cordillera at iba't iba pang mga bulubunduking area, na kung tutuusin, kulang na dito sa tinakda ng public works, ngunit ang alam natin ang nangangailangan talaga ng serbisyo higit sa lahat ng kalye. So maybe let us first enjoin the public works to reconsider their uh, strictures on these three requirements of population, road length, and land area. Uh, there are other developmental concerns that should be taken into consideration, as would be evidenced by the Tripsy Roads, for example, which uh, put priority on uh, tourism potential, or in fact, the old roads under uh, Secretary Duresa um, for peace and order in areas which we know 
to be uh, confluence areas for uh, many uh, insurgent groups. So, sana mabigyan rin ang uh, uh, ng halaga itong ibang consideration maliban sa tatlong itinakda ng public works. The uh, concern that I would like to bring about um, in addition to the existing draconian standards of the public works with regard to uh, uh, district engineering offices. Um, the other thing that I would like to clarify is that um, these will be funded by the national government since uh, my understanding is district engineering offices will be under DILG. Is that correct? Because uh, under the Mandana's ruling, and it's impending implementation in 2022. Um, are we clear that the LG is turning it over once again to the LGUs? Is there some kind of devolution of public works as well under Mandanas? Um, given that uh, the debate is heated and incomplete with regards of with the DPP of uh, the uh, executive order already issued regarding mandanas and the devolution of both areas of agriculture as well as health kasama rin ba itong public works kasi ang kinatatakutan ko dito senator pakyao at uh, sa ating mga kongresista mainit na yung issue ng mga ospital na dinevolve ididevolve sa mga lgu hindi kakayanin ng lgu ibabalik na naman sa national ng renationalization ganun din ba itong mga district engineering office. Sana pag-usapan po natin at talagang uh, linawin kung yung DILG ba o yung public works ba o higit sa lahat, wag naman yung mga LGU na talagang uh, sagad na sagad na sa panahon ng pandemya. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Chair, may I also ask questions para isang sagutan na lang po? Before we, uh, we continue can I proceed, Mr. Chairman? May I ask the similar questions so that the resource persons can just answer our questions together? May I proceed? Yes, Senator Pia Caetano is recognized. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Chairman, my, my observations are similar to Senator Marcos. Um, may we have a discussion on the effect of the Mandana's ruling? I hope DBM is here. And if DBM is not here, then can we request another hearing so that we can have a, uh, a vibrant and uh, productive discussion on this very important issue? Po. Um, number I won't I won't uh, I won't elaborate because Senator Marcos already elaborated no, on the need to clarify uh, the effect of the Mandana's ruling. Uh, number two, um, similar observation also. I noticed that uh, DPWH um, uh, basically uh, reported to the committee that. Um, Almost all, I think almost all the bills uh, result in, a, I took note now, result in, a, and ganito ka rin kabagal yung boses po ng ating resource person, result in a deficient road length and does not meet the requirement. Okay. Eh, pinakinggan ko mula yun kasi kasama yun sa pangatlong point ko. Um, pero may isang hinabol, yung renumbering yata. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, so malaking bagay po to, no? Dahil nga parang rejected lahat. And ang sa akin naman, um, of course, I, I, I uh, have a, uh, like Senator Marcos, concerned tayo sa development ng ating uh, local government. Uh, that's why we, we prioritize the CREATE law so that our local governments would have more um, opportunities for growth. But then there must be a reason for those requirements. And that's also why I want to have a discussion on those requirements. Kasi uh, sa, ta sa tagal ko na rin po naging senator, I also like to value the contributions of our agencies and try to understand what are the basis of those uh, rules and guidelines that they have. Kasi may reason po yun, di ba? So baka naman may ibang uh, LGU na uh, may nakamit ng, ng population requirement or other requirements na gusto ba nilang ma-prioritize. Ano yung reason? I was thinking it might be...
Wala, yeah. nawala si Senator Pia. Yeah. I think I lost connection. Am I back, Mr. Chairman? Am I back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah loud and clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was just saying that um, I'd like to be educated uh, on I mean, basic guidelines because I always give the benefit of the doubt na may reason naman sila for the guidelines, di ba? So we'd like to know para we can also determine um, before we set aside those guidelines and, and say na... Uh, ituloy pa rin yan, kahit na labag sa guidelines. I'd like to know what are those rules. And then, my third point, Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to know from His Honor kung ano ho yung ating uh, order for this hearing. Because I actually attended because of the uh, Senate bill that um, I, I believe His Honor uh, authored, no? yung uh, adopting a 30-year national road infrastructure uh, master plan. Excited po ako dyan, Mr. Chairman, dahil uh, as you know, I chaired the committee on Sustainable Development Goals, Innovation, and Futures Thinking. And I'm very happy that we have a bill that looks into the future. So you know yung gusto yes. kong mag-participate. So i just like that's to know. That's, kasi that's kung, included in our uh, agenda today. Yes. And I just want to know for guidance, Mr. Chairman, kasi babiyahi po ako um, in a while for Senate session. And so I'd like to know lang po kasi tinanong ng resource person natin kung anong next, di ba? Marami pa yata siyang local bill. So, kaya ko lang na-emphasize ho na medyo mabagal yung pag-ano dahil baka hindi na umabot doon. So, I just want to have a time frame so I know saan ho ako mag-aabang. Yun na ba ang kasunod o mamaya pa ho yun? Any naman ho ako, I'm just, I'm just asking for your guidance. Mamaya pa siya na after this. Uh, okay. So, tapusin mo muna yung local bill. Sige, mag-aabang na lang po ako, sir, and then can we just ask them to respond to our questions? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Piyapintano. Um, Mr. Chair, Senator, Mr. Chairman, I'm hihirit lang ako kasi aalits rin po. Eh, kung maari lang, makikiko-author ako sa inyo, ha? Dito sa 30-year infra plan, institutionalizing build, build, build. Uh, makikiko-author kung papayag po kayo. Yun lang. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, wala ka. Hindi namin kayo marinig. Ayun. Mr. Chairman, um on my part also in case lang in case lang Can you hear me Mr. Chairman? Can you hear me Mr. Chair? I mean, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. It's uh, money we can't get through. Okay. Well, anyway, the Secretariat can pick up my manifestation. Um, in case I can't go back or can't stay that much longer, I'll just manifest that I have similar bills, although they are filed in different committees, because I have built, built, built bills uh, on for, in, for health infrastructure and education infrastructure. So very similar dito sa bills ni ng ating chairman, pero focus po yung sa akin sa health and education. So, I'm just manifesting that um, nasa ibang committee na refer yun eh, pero I'm sure there are ways that we can uh, um, work together on this. Yun lang po, Mr. Chairman, salamat. I hope you heard me. Yes. Uh... Narinig niyo ako? No? Okay. Okay. 
Mario Martínio. Uh, may I hear from uh, Congressman uh, Congressman Mario Marino? Sorry. Hi, Mr. Chen. Thank you. Mr. Chen, I'm going to the video because I'm going to the signal Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Regarding House Bill number 9398, regarding the 5th District of Batangas, I have a certification from our uh, a dist from our a DPW engineer, Michael Jerome Caponpon, that we meet, the 5th District meets the requirement, which has a 101.69 uh, a kilometer uh, road, uh, including the ongoing projects for uh, 2022 so mr chairman i uh, uh, we actually met the requirement and the uh, mother district is also uh, within the uh, uh, requirement uh, and also i i also uh, acknowledge the um, the uh, concern of the other two senators earlier sana naman po consider din yung uh, economic impact ng aming district we have a populate population of uh, about 350,000 and uh, my district is uh, considered to be the, uh, uh, we have about four power plants here in Batangas uh, district, fifth district, that we contribute about 40% of the power for the whole Luzon. So, uh, the economic impact of my district is very considerable uh, even to the GDP of the whole country. Sana po ma-approve po yung aming uh, request, uh, House Bill 9, um, yung po sa 5th District, and also the Lipa District, which is House Bill number 9154. Because this Lipa City and Batanga City are two major uh, cities Pag uh, kinonsider nyo po yung economic impact, napakalaki po dapat ng uh, contribution, uh, lalo na kung magkakaroon po kami ng sariling uh, distrito, Mr. Chairman. Konti naman lang po yung uh, uh, deficiency, but nevertheless, I, I have records that we we uh, we are in compliant with the road network. Sana po makita ulit yung uh, 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 inventory nung 5th uh, district and the 2nd district and also I will also speak for the district of uh, um, Deputy Speaker Vilma Santos Recto in which case uh, talaga naman pong very uh, significant po yung uh, Lipa City and also the Batanga City uh, Mr. Chairman. Sana po makonsider uh, kung may kulang man uh, malaki naman po yung contribution and mas malaki pa po, po yung contribution and impact na sa economy kung magkakaroon po kami ng sariling uh, distrito. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Senator. Mr. Chairman, may I just make a quick reaction? Yes, yes uh, Pia, Senator Pia Caetano is recognized. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Congressman Marvi, for your very um, on-point explanation. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from uh, DPWH, but you said it well, no? So basically, it answers my question, which is, Ano ba yung basis ng guidelines, di ba? And, and uh, if we are going to set aside those guidelines, what would be the reason? And you, you made it very clear that the economic 
um, life no, in, in your town, which, which in your city, which I visited a number of times, uh, very clearly calls for it. So that one is very impactful and very convincing for me. But that's why, Mr. Chairman, in due time, I leave it up to you to let the DPWH also explain to us. Because I'm assuming that uh, the members of Congress here, and I'd like to take this time to say hello to all of you. Hindi ko nakita yung mga picture nyo, kaya hindi ako nakabati sa inyo. I see you then, uh, Kong PJ Garcia, uh, hello sa inyong lahat. Um, I didn't see, didn't see you kasi maraming nasa, ano yan, nasa uh, Webex natin now, no? But um, beyond my greetings, yun nga, I, I'd like to know um, the reason so that we have valid reasons to either set aside those guidelines or help DPWH improve those guidelines even by way of amending the law. So that's what I just need to know. And uh, and uh, Congressman Marvie said it very well, but at some point, Mr. Chairman, let's ask DPWH to also explain to us. Kasi kung walang ganun sa guidelines sila, maybe we need to pass, uh, consider a law and maybe the congressmen would like to initiate it. Um, spelling out these, these guidelines so that kami naman in the Senate na I, I don't have a district, we don't have districts, but some of us um, are very active in our own uh, hometowns, would also be guided by your experience, yes, as opposed to just setting aside the guidelines, which are supposed to be there for a reason. So, para, ano, it, it, para Mr. Chairman, before we get to the floor, naayos na to, ang ina-avoid ko sana is dadating ito sa floor ng Senate, hindi namin naiintindihan kung bakit, labag sa sa ano recommendation ng ano ng uh, department hindi namin naiintindihan yung reason so i think the statement of uh, of um, congressman marvy um may stand for many but there may also be other reasons that we'd like to hear so maraming salamat pasensya no sa ano ko no but i'm trying to simplify this so that when it gets to the floor wala na hong kayong masyadong issue na haharapin kasi ganun mo talaga ang mangyayari if DPWH is against it and that's on record. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And again, warm regards to my former colleagues in the House. Thank you, Senator Pia Caetano. Uh, proceed. Uh, I want to hear a short comment from uh, Congressman uh, Dohali. Um, a short uh, comment lang. Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, po, Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, sinabi kanina na resource person at 24 kilometers yung Salaman Island. Yung district ko po, limang municipio, dalawang city, tatlong municipio. Yung total length po ng Bravo del Norte National Road, roughly 238 kilometers. May pending ako ngayon na proposed conversion, yung Salmon Island alone, may 87 kilometers yung circumferential road. Roughly po, yung District 2, almost 100 kilometers po yung road network, na national road. Kaya yung data ng DPWH, hindi mag-coincide sa data na binigay sa akin dito ng District Engineering Office ng Pago. Hello, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Eh, sana naman makonsider yung request putting up a district engineering office sa Samal. Alam mo, with the construction of the new bridge, saka yung tourism potential ng Samal, ma-develop natin. Ang laking potential ng Samal na hindi napagbigyan dahil nga hirap. Wala magandang road network, wala yung nakatutok to. So may I humbly request the committee to please consider the proposed bill kasi makakatulong talaga to sa district, Mr. Chair. internet signal. That's all, Mr. Chief. Thank you, uh, man, uh, Dohali. Uh, may I hear from uh, Representative uh, Congressman Garcia?
Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. So, uh, like what the gentleman from uh, Davo Del Norte said, si Congressman Duali, I'd like sana to be, for the, to reconsider yung statements nung resource person from DPWH, no? Uh, sinabi na rin po ni Senator Marcos and ni, ni Senator Cayetano na uh, perhaps hindi lang naman na uh, necessary ni na yun lang yung factors to be considered, no? Uh, I think we all understand na uh, malaking tulong din ito for our respective districts. So hopefully this can be reconsidered, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And that's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. Uh, pasensya na kayo. Medyo talagang mahina yung internet signal natin. Taputol-putol yung uh, uh, internet signal natin. Nawala ang connection. Um, uh, next, uh, may I hear from uh, Congressman B? Short comment lang. Afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairman, and good afternoon to all our colleagues and also the good senators with us today. Uh, firstly, maraming salamat po, uh, Mr. Chairman, and also to our two senators uh, who have for their remarks. You know, pa sa unawa nyo po sa mga pangangailangan po ng aming mga distrito. Uh, ang Mr. Chairman ng sa amin lamang po, and I, I feel that uh, most of our colleagues uh, here today um, are who filed bills to you know convert uh, or to create new uh, district engineering offices Mr Chairman uh, currently po kasi marami naman pong uh, ginagawang uh, road networks and if you can ask the DPWH to uh, reconsider uh, their stance because Mr Chairman although may deficiency po sa kasalukuyan uh, sa ngayon po sa aming distrito, for example, Mr. Chairman, kami nung apat po uh, na main road networks, uh, the Kawayan City Alternate Road, City Bypass Road, uh, Alicia Angadanan San Guillermo Alternate Road uh, route, which will be finished, Mr. Chairman, within the year, some of them next year. So ito pong ginagawa natin, Mr. Chairman, ay isang proactive approach into responding to the needs of our districts. So sana po, uh, Mr. Chairman, you can still reconsider uh, uh, and uh, we appeal to you and to our good senators to uh, approve po ito pong uh, um, aming proposals for new engineering districts sa aming mga lugar. Kaya yun lamang po, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, thank you, Congressman uh, uh Next, uh, I'll hear a uh, short uh, comment. Uh, Congressman uh, Balmayor uh, from Negros Occidental. Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, good senators and uh, my colleagues in Congress. It was also mentioned earlier by the DPWA's representative that uh, the creation of the fifth engineering uh, district in Negros Occidental from the first uh, legislative district are compliant to the requirements of DPWH because at present, Mr. Chairman, the total length, the total length of the um, the roads in uh, the first engineering district is 604 kilometers. So even if we create the fifth engineering district, it will have 278 kilometers. While uh, the mother uh, district will still have 326 kilometers, so <clears throat> both are compliant with the 100 kilometer requirement of the PWH. While on the uh, on the population, 
uh, the mother uh, district will have 817,000, while the new district will have 375,000 based on 2015 uh, census. So the new district will be compliant to the requirements of DPWH. And that's why uh, the good secretary, Mark Villar, has already issued uh, Department Order 40 creating the uh, sub-office of uh, the fifth engineering district. So this, we just want to uh, convert that into a in, an engineering district, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Congressman uh, Valmayor. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Marami pa tingin, baka mabutan tayo ng 3 o'clock. Pag-session na. So let's uh, proceed to... Uh, Let's proceed now to uh, bills on road renaming. I would like to ask the representative from uh, the National Historic Commission of the Philippines regarding their uh, opinion on the bills filed by filed on uh, renaming on roads. Uh, can you give us a, uh, a comment about their their uh, bills? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Senator, Chairman, Sir, uh, and to all our honorable members of the committee, Senators uh, Cayetano and Amy Marcus, and all the members of the, the House who are present. Sir, we sent our official uh, position on all the House bills yesterday, but just uh, very briefly, in the interest of time, um, we uh, we support all the bills except we have some reservations on, on three of the bills, but we respect the uh, wisdom of the committee if they, because these are just based, the, the, our position is based on our guidelines um, guiding yung local government code. Kasi po, Mr. Chair, sa local government code, we are really, the local government units are really required to ask the, the permission of the NHCP, but uh, we, we, we appreciate that you also ask our opinion, considering that the House and the Senate uh, is within their powers to uh, name or rename uh, roads. Anyway, in the interest of time, sir, our 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 uh, reservations is with regards to one is with regards to House Bill 9803, yung pong dinaming ng um, Bohol Panglao, uh, the road uh, barangay from Barangay Lourdes to Barangay Tawala after former Governor Constancio Chato Toralba, we, 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 uh, our reservation is based on the fact that uh, our guideline po kasi requires the passage of 10 years before any road can be named after a, a person. So uh, we, we, we learned that the governor, our, our yeah, governor Constancio Chalo Toral, but died only in 2019. But uh, we defer to the wisdom of the committee. Also, we have reservation with regards to House Bill 7669 and also its counterpart bill in the Senate, SB 1325, uh, renaming Mandawi Causeway as Owano Avenue. Our reservation is just based on the facts, Mr. Chair, that uh, we have uh, the, uh, the congressional representative is a relative of the honorary as well as a member of the board. But again, we defer to the committee. Same is true, with Mr. Chair, with House Bill 8224, uh, with regard to the renaming of the Marawi City Kapal Tagoloan Lano del Sur Road into uh, Senator Ahmad Domukao Alangadi Alonto Senior Road because the sponsor of the House Bill is uh, the good representative uh, Sarudin Abdul Malik Alonto Adyo. Uh, just to, just, uh, just might, there might be a question of propriety, Mr. Chair. At any rate, we defer to the wisdom of the committee, Mr. Chair. That is all, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Uh, Alcid, um, in HCP, yes, um, may I hear from uh, from the DPWH? Uh, what can you uh, say about this? And uh, please state your uh, evaluation of of these bills. My comment, ba kayo, DPWH. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. If I may read again the uh, stand of the DPWH and the comments for the naming and the naming of roads and bridges, 
for the said house bills, the department interposes no objection to the proposed renaming of streets, roads, and bridges. Nevertheless, for simplicity and to avoid confusion, may we suggest that road sections forming a contiguous road network traversing two or more jurisdictions be under the same road name in order to uphold the continuity of the national road network. Yan lang po, Mr. Chair, ang comment po ng stand ng DPWH. Thank you po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, DPWH. Uh, may I hear from uh, Representative uh, Garcia? Pablo Jan yes. Garcia? May I hear from Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you to the members of the Senate and the House uh, present and all the resource persons. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, I'd just like to uh, answer uh, the, the reservations of the NHCP. Uh, the reservation is that uh, there are incumbents uh, who are named one. Uh, one is a representative and one is a board member. Well, uh, my my uh, answer to that, Mr. Chair, is that it's not the fault of the Wanos that they continue to be elected and respected by the uh, by the people of Manlao, Mr. Chair. I think this is not an argument uh, against the bill. I think this is an argument in favor of the bill uh, to to rename uh, the Mandawe Causeway to the Wano uh, to Wano Avenue, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, <laughs> In fact, uh, anyway, Mr. Chair, it is not an objection, it's just a reservation, but I would just like to make that manifestation. Also, Mr. Chair, uh, should uh, this uh, be looked upon with favor by this committee, may I ask, uh, Mr. Chair, that the House version uh, be adopted because the DPWH, during the hearings in the House, uh, pointed out that the, the uh, original version, upon which the the Senate uh, version is uh, Senate bill of uh, Senator Gordon is based uh, has an excess of around 0.3 uh, uh, kilometers uh, in the technical description, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, Congressman, next, um, I want to hear from uh, Congressman Adjong. Off ko lang yung video ko kasi mah mahina ang internet ito, putol-putol para tuloy-tuloy tayo. Um, pwede ba marinig ang comment ni Adjong, Congressman Adjong? Mr. Chairman, may, may I be allowed to read my short manifestation? Go ahead, uh, Congressman. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A pleasant good afternoon to the Senate Committee Chairperson, Senator Manuel, Manuel Mani Pacquiao. This is the distinguished senators, guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am grateful and privileged to sponsor House Bill 8224, an act renaming the Marawi City, Kapai, Tabuluan 2, Lanao del Sur Road. Stretching from Barangay Bangulo Poblacion in the city of Marawi and traversing through the municipalities of Kapai and Tabuluan too, all in the province of Lanao del Sur, as Senator Ahmad Dumukaw Alangadi Alonto Sr. National Road. This national road goes a long way up to the municipality of Talakag province of Bukidnon. Mr. Chair, the road has brought many benefits to the province of Lano del Sur. The road has enhanced trade and commerce due to the shortened travel time. It also provides a big boost in establishing integrated, comprehensive growth across the province and its nearby cities, municipalities of the province of Bukidnon. Mr. Chair, renaming the said road to the late Senator Dumuko Alonto is only benefiting for a distinguished public servant who was one of the leading advocates of peace and development, especially in Mindanao. 
He championed Muslim rights and representation here and abroad. In the halls of Congress, he is remembered for authoring several landmark legislation that include the establishment of the Mindanao State University, the Mindanao Development Authority, Minda, and the law creating the Commission on National Integration. He continuously fought and strived for unity and peaceful coexistence among Muslims and Christians. Christians. In 1988, he received the King Faisal International Prize for Service to Islam Award and is also recognized as one of the 100 great Muslim leaders of the 20th century. Mr. Chair, the renaming of the road will bestow distinct honor and perpetuate the memory of a world-renowned Muslim Filipino figure. If favorably passed into law, it will constantly remind people of his noble acts and accomplishments in the service of Filipinos and inspire people to follow the standard he has sent he has set and to become responsible and productive members of society. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Congressman Adjong, uh, next, uh, may I hear from uh, Congressman Madrona. Uh, chairman of uh, the House uh, Committee on Public Works and Highways. Uh, yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Chairman uh, Mani, and then uh, members of the Senate Committee and my peers in Congress. Uh, in behalf of the late uh, Congressman Raul Delmar, I have uh, the honor to sponsor this uh, uh, House Bill Number 8221 and probably it is with all due recognition, considering that it is uh, named no less than uh, from uh, Sering Biloso Osmeña Jr., a very, very prominent person in the, in Cebu. And I'm pretty sure that it will really uh, extend all his uh, memories as a very, very good leader in the city of Cebu. And for that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I am uh, earnestly requesting that this committee uh, favorably considers our House Bill number 8221. Thank you, uh, Congressman. Uh, Congressman Madrona. Next, uh, may I hear from uh, Ma Short Lang para may oras pata para ma hindi tayo mahuli. May session pa ako ng 3 o'clock. Um, next to uh, Congressman uh, Jago Nonoy T. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. A very short lang with a favorable position of and no objection of NC and its CP and DPWH. I would like to appeal to the members of this committee, Mr. Chair, for for the approval of my House Bill Number. Uh, 8148. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Thank you. Uh, Congressman Diego T. Next to uh, Congressman Chato. May I hear from you? Congressman Chato. Are you still there? Uh, Congressman Chato, go ahead. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Yes, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a problem with the uh, connection. Uh, so good afternoon to the committee. Uh, this is with respect to House Bill uh, 9803. Uh, that, uh, that would uh, name the present road. This is uh, an unnamed road. Uh, connecting directly to the new Bohol Pangalaw International Airport. Uh, the intention is to name it uh, after Governor Constancio Turalba, who was the governor of Bohol who initiated the new airport project uh, sometime in 1988 to 1992 during his term. And so uh, this is the uh, intention of the bill, and um, we manifest our desire to have it uh, passed into law with the support of the Senate after the House Committee favorably approved it. Uh, that's about it, and thank you. Thank you, Congressman Chato. Congressman Chato. Next, uh, may I hear from uh, Congressman Dohali? Okay. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Yung appeal ko lang na makonsider yung House Bill 9801 ng committee at mapa-approve to para matagyan ang pangalan yung bagong pangalan yung Carmen Road to Saturnino or Silva Road. That's all message here. Thank you, Congressman Chato. Next, uh, salamat. As uh, not now, uh, okay, uh, let's proceed to um, it's an anatinto road, uh, bridge, uh, tunnel construction. Congressman, at the United States, Kaikanina Panadinta yung uh, Congressman Jan. Uh, may I hear from uh, Congressman uh, Juan Odizon? What is your uh, comment? Um, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Senator Mani, and my colleagues in the House and members of this joint committee. Um, first of all, um, Mr. Chairman, I likewise would like to thank the resource person who are joining us today for this time and willingness to help. I humbly seek the support of the Senate through the joint committees for the approval of House Bill number 9886 that will fund and cost the construction through DPWH or a, of a tri-level interchange along MC Periones, corner UN Avenue, Mandawi City, province of Cebu. Mr. Chair, it is a major thoroughfare in Mandawi, a highly urbanized city which connects to the Marcelo Fernand Bridge the second bridge linking the Mactan Cebu International Airport and the resort city of Lapu-Lapu. This trip is actually the gateway to the north of Cebu as it is part of the north-south backbone known as the Cebu North Hagnaya Wharf Road. This highway going to the north is heavily used even by travelers who avail of our rural facilities to reach other provinces like Maspate, and some parts of southern Leyte. This portion in Mandawe is one of the identified traffic bottlenecks in a 2005 study of JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, on the roadmap to, for sustainable urban development of Metro Cebu. The 2018 JICA DOTR, the Metro Cebu Urban Transport Plan, identified 28 traffic bottlenecks which included MC Briones, UN Avenue, 
as needing intersection improvement. The bottleneck in that intersection is just too burdensome to the daily life of the traveling riding public, aside from delaying the movement of goods and services. Recognizing its necessity and urgency, the DPWH, through its regional office, is preparing the groundworks for this project, such as the feasibility study that is already done, and the detailed engineering study, which is ongoing. What we desire, Mr. Chairman, is that this proposed project, which would be the first of its type in Cebu, is covered by a law so that it can be included in the General Appropriation Act the soonest time possible, whatever the changes in the national administrative landscape. And more importantly, there will be an assurance of implementation and completion. With your support, it is hoped that the project, project became a reality as a landmark tribute to, to the Cebuanos. Thank you, Mr. Chair and the members of this joint committee. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Congresswoman uh, Dyson. Um, next, uh, to my friend, uh, Congressman Rufus Rodriguez. To our people's champion, the Pabansan Kamao, the chairman of the Public Works Committee of the Honorable Senate, our chair, Chair Manny Pacquiao, Mayang hapon, kanimo, Senator Manny. Mayang hapon, Kong. I am therefore asking the support of the Senate uh, for my House Bill uh, 9885. This will establish the 240 kilometer Trans Mindanao Highway, coming all the way from the Pacific Ocean, from Surigao del Sur, going to Bukidnon, going to Cagayan de Oro, going to Misamis Oriental, and ending at the Lagindingan International Airport at the middle of northern Mindanao. We have to, when we open this, Mr. Chairman, as the first stage of the Mindanao Transnational Highway. This will result, Mr. Chairman, uh, on a development of our hillsides and mountainsides. And therefore, from Lagindingan Airport, they can just proceed uh, in the center of Mindanao, northern Mindanao. They can go all the way to Surigao del Sur in the Caraga region. And that is why we have thought about this, because uh, while we have our regular highways, they are circuitous in terms of going around Mindanao. This will cut travel time, Mr. Chairman, from northern Mindanao to the Karaga region. And because our dear chairman is from Mindanao, a very worthy son of Mindanao, we hope that this particular bill be supported by the Senate. And I earlier, we had also Senator Aimee Marcos and Senator Pia Caetano, who I'm sure is very much interested to have the middle, the part of Mindanao, which is not quite accessible to the Pacific Ocean, that with this particular highway, we, it will result to so much development for our beloved island of Mindanao, especially because Senator Pacquiao is from General Santos Sarangani. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I ask for your kind support and the senators for the approval of this bill and hasten the development of Mindanao through this Trans-Mindanao Highway from the Pacific Ocean to the Mindanao Sea at the Punta Sulawan Point in northern Mindanao. Thank you very much. Dakan Salamat, Senator Mani. Noted on that, uh, Congressman uh, Robos Rodriguez, approved without thinking. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Okay, All the others also, let us approve without thinking because these are congressmen <laughs> who are fighting, the chairman, for their districts. That yes, they, yes. You know, to develop their districts because, you know, sometimes, you know, we see the overall picture, 100 kilometers, 250, uh, 250 uh, uh, residents. However, it is important that there is specific uh, trust on each legislative district that are new for the development of that district, for the betterment of the people of their district. Dakan Salamat, Chairman. 
Thank you. I agree with you. I can share your uh, suggestion and uh, comment. Next to uh, Representative uh, Joel Mayo Almario. Mayong uh, hapon. Mayong hapon, Mr. Tom. Mayong hapon. Mayong hapon. Before I Mayo. start with my bill, before I start with my bill, Mr. Chairman, nang loon ko gamay kang Congressman Rufus. Wala <laughs> Wala ang i-appel ang Davao Oriental. <laughs> Diretso sa Davao Oriental from Surigao. Diretso. Doon naman na kayo. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, Mr. Chair, my bill is uh, House Bill 9984, an act appropriating funds for the construction of a four-lane skyway in Davao City. Now, Mr. Chairman, coming from Davao del Norte at the boundary between Davao del Norte and Davao City, one will pass by the barangays of Davao City, namely Barangay Bunawan, Panakan, Tibungko. That's, the, that's a heavily industrialized area, Mr. Chairman. Na, uh, in those barangays look, are the companies such as Wholesome Philippines, Unifruity, the wharf of Unifruity, New Davao Oil Mill, Panakan Public Market, Davao Bay Coconut Oil Mills, Davao Industrial Compressed Gas, uh, Union Galva Steel Plant, Terminal Facilities, and all others, Mr. Chairman. What am I saying? You will find there big trucks, 10-wheelers, prime movers, crisscrossing that main road, which is the Daang Maharlika Highway or the Pan-Philippine Highway or AH-26, together with the small vehicles for the residents and pedestrians in the area, which are the tricycles, habal-habal, uh, and small cars. No, so But that is the only road coming from Agusan to Davao leading to Davao Airport coming from Davao del uh, Davao Oriental, which is my place, Davao de Oro, Davao del Norte, going to Davao Airport along the diversion road of Davao City, Mr. Chairman. So in effect, in that uh, area where the proposed uh, Skyway will be, will be constructed, we encounter heavy traffic more often than not, Mr. Chairman, the travel time from my district in Mati, Davao Oriental, to Davao International Airport is three hours. But when traffic strikes in that area, you add two hours. So that's already a lot of time wasted and uh, causing economic uh, uh, adverse, adverse, uh, uh, causing adverse effects on the economy. Mr. Chairman, no? So, from that uh, start of the project at the boundary of Davao del Norte and Davao City, the proposed skyway will lead us to the Davao International Airport and at the same time to the Sa, -Sa Wharf. So, Mr. Chairman, I have uh, an idea on uh, what uh, DPWH uh, comments are and I agree with them that we should have a very good feasibility study on this. This is about 8 to 10 kilometers only. And if my mathematics will serve me right, it's about 2 to 2.5 billion pesos only. And it can be done, Mr. Chairman. It can be done. I hope that uh, the committee under your leadership and the Senate as a whole will look kindly on this proposal to build a four-lane skyway in Davao City. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Congressman Almario, support your uh, suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kong. Next to uh, Congressman uh, Abdullah Dimapuro. Salam alaikum. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon to you and good afternoon also uh, to uh, 
Senator Amy Marcos and the other senators present today, uh, and also to my fellow congressmen present today. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is about uh, House Bill number uh, uh, 9985. Uh, the purpose of this, Mr. Chairman, uh, is uh, 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 to, uh, to give uh, uh, lesser time of travel uh, to those uh, uh, going uh, uh, from uh, Sambuanga uh, Peninsula to uh, Surigao or uh, uh, other provinces of uh, Region 10. Uh, uh, the, uh, the present uh, national highway uh, that will be uh, uh, improved uh, and made, uh, I think, six, uh, 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 six um, uh, that, that will be expanded, uh, 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 called, uh, I think, uh, Maharlika Highway, uh, will be passing through the biggest uh, municipalities of the province of Plano del Norte. Uh, my traffic uh, uh, in uh, the municipality of Tubod, uh, uh, Lala, Baroy, and Kapatagan. Uh, so we, uh, in order that it will be faster uh, to those who have no business uh, in the province of Plano del Norte, they can use uh, uh, the, uh, uh, this proposed road that we have uh, under uh, uh, House Bill number 9985, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so uh, it will also avoid, uh, if expanding it uh, to six lanes uh, uh, to be a Maharlika Highway, there will be many uh, buildings that will be destroyed, uh, Mr. Chairman. And I pity the owners uh, of those buildings if it happens, uh, Mr. Chairman. So uh, that is uh, that is my explanation, Mr. Chairman, for 9985 bill. Welcome. Next to uh, Muhammad uh, Khalid uh, Dimapuro. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Chairman. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is about uh, House Bill uh, 9986, uh, which is a bypass road in the municipality of Balui, Lanao del Norte. And this bypass road will allow better uh, access uh, from the Iligan Marawi Road. Ang problema namin, Mr. Chair, is there's only one road from Iligan City to Marawi City. At sa gitna, sa Balui Poblacion, masyadong traffic. Dahil uh, you cannot go beyond two lanes. And uh, we already warned the DPWH na kung iwa-widen mo yung mga bahay dyan, sisirain mo yung mga bahay dyan, dala mo yung army, lalaban yung mga tao. So the only real solution and peaceful solution is to create a bypass uh, road uh, around this uh, very thickly populated area of Poblacion Balui. Mr. Chair, this is a uh, work that I've been doing with DPWH over the last five years. So we, we've already secured and had a feasibility study approved. I believe it's supported by the DEO and also the regional director. Walang problema as far as its um, need uh, for our motorists between Iligan City and Marawi City and back. So sana lang, uh, with your help and your support, and with the support of our friends in the Senate, Senator uh, Aimi and Senator Pia Cayetano, uh, this House Bill for the Municipality of Balui, which will benefit motorists from Iligan City and Marawi City, will be approved uh, under this Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Congressman uh, Dimaporo, like I said, approved without thinking. <laughs> Maganda yung uh, mga project ninyo eh. So, I fully support. Next to uh, Congressman Suarez. Kison. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. It's, it's about uh, House Bill 9988. Good afternoon. 
afternoon to my colleagues in the Senate and in the House. I would like to the Senate Committee on Public Works for considering our proposal measure before this August by. I would also construction of much anticipated Quezon Vehicle Expressway. The Quezon Vehicle Expressway or Quebec has been a long envisioned by this administration since 6th Congress with the belt, belt, belt program of this administration. I am hopeful that this project will be finally be approved and to improve road networks traveling to south, Southern Luzon is complementing existing projects such as the CR4. The expressway will significantly cut travel time farther than the Greater Manila to the region. As such, we expect the impact of a local migration trade delivery of basic goods and services and disaster calamity response. At this time of pandemic, we need to make uh, good and service easily accessible, available to communities, especially in the far flank areas. The Quebec will definitely help in the efficiency of the implementation of COVID-19 response to municipalities in southern Luzon. Hence today, my dear colleagues, my dear Kababayan Chairman, Mayong Hapon, I seek your support in the adoption and set approval of this bill. Mayong Hapon. Thank you, uh, Congresswoman uh, Suarez. That's all for uh, for our uh, construction road and bridge construction. Uh, we have a uh, bill here, an act uh, adapting a, a thirty-year uh, Senate uh, <clears throat> Senate Bill Number Two One Two Two, an act adapting a thirty-year National Infrastructure Master Plan. Uh, just for the record, and I would like to uh, uh, thank you, everyone. And I, before I, uh, I move to uh, adjourn. I want to hear first to uh, DPWH my uh, uh, our bill, Senate Bill what, two one two two, for a uh, uh, short uh, suggestion or opinion comment about this uh, bill. May I hear from uh, DPWH, please? PWH, uh, may I hear from you about the, the right Senate Bill number uh, 2122, an act uh, adapting a 30 year national infrastructure master plan? Hello, Paul. Good afternoon. Stop my video. Ay. Hello, hello po, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Director uh, Jimenez, go ahead. So, ano po, uh, we are supporting the 30-year infrastructure plan. And if adopted by NEDA,
Thank you. Um, Wala pa sir, hindi siya nakikin naririnig. Hindi kita nar- uh, hindi, hindi ka marinig uh, ah. Hindi ka marinig. Hello po, naririnig po. Ayun na. Yan na, yan na. Marinig. Yes sir. So, uh, we will uh, the DPWS fully supports the third Wala na naman. Wala ka na naman. <laughs> Sir, isa yan sa mga ano yung signal natin dito sa Pilipinas. Isa yan sir, sa mga ano yun, mission. Internet. Ay. Dito pa nga tayo sa kalagitnaan ng ano yun. Makati pa sir, napano pa sa provincia. <laughs> sa Makati pa tayo. Mahina pa yung signal. Ano pa kaya sa mga bulubundokin. Ah, hindi ka namin naririnig. Sa salita, pero hindi naririnig. Minus... Hindi ito kami, Jimenez, from DPWH, hindi ka namin naririnig. Ah, wala siyang signal dito. Ay, pang mga problema. Hello po. Hello? Hello po? Ay, wala na naman. Kamiyot ka, nakamiyot. Ano yun? Kamiyot siya? Okay na? Oh, sir, hindi pa ako nakabit. Okay. Hello po. Ako. Hello po. Sige, sige. Hello po. Ahead. Okay. So good afternoon po. So the DPWH fully supports the 30 infrastructure plan. And if passed into law, we will adopt whatever NEDA will require us to be able to submit the plan in lieu of the uh, four-year uh, medium-term plan, the, the long-term plan. So we'll just uh, comply, sir, with all the requirements if NEDA will also adopt the 30 infra plan. So, yun po sir, we so fully support the 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 passing that the bill passed to be passed into law. Yun lang po sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh... Thank you din po sir. Thank you for your honor. Uh, I would like to uh, acknowledge <coughs> the presence of uh, Senator uh, Bato. Pato de la Rosa, my compare. Good morning, uh, pare, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Dave. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nagigising mo lang yata eh. Hindi, dito na ko. Dito na ko sa Sinead. Ah, nandiyan ka pala? Oo. Do you want to see something, uh, Senator... Uh, Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I just would like to manifest my full support to all the uh, measures that are being heard by uh, this uh, committee. Uh, full support ako sa'yo, Mr. Uh, committee Chairman. Um, andito lang ako to support you all the way. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um... Is anyone who, who moved to move a uh, for the approval of the agenda that we tackled today? Um, the uh, renaming uh, district engineering and uh, uh, road uh, construction. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I I, I move uh, I move for the approval of. Uh, all of uh, the agendas that uh, we are uh, we have tackled today, Mr. Chairman. I so move. Seeing no objection. Is there uh, any objection? Mr. Chairman. Uh, is this a 
Kaya yeah, Senator Pia, I didn't turn on my video kasi I'm in the car, no? Baka hindi maganda okay. siya. Okay. Uh, no, I, not an objection, but uh, my um, manifestation is that I, I, uh, I hope that the committee will compile uh, all the information uh, for each of the bills so that we do not have a hard time during the deliberations on the floor. I heard very good explanations coming from uh, our colleagues in the house are uh, very enlightening um but we need to know this mr chairman because on its face hindi naman natin nalalaman yun dahil hindi naman natin alam yung uh, kalagayan ng mga distrito nila so i would uh, humbly advise that these details are made known to the members of the committee and then eventually to the senators on the floor so that we can um of course i'm sure we would all want to support but it would be we would have to have the information uh, and not just the uh, the um, uh, advice of DPWH that uh, they don't comply with their uh, Mr. Chairman, did you hear me? Just yes, uh, noted, noted on that, Senator Pia Cayetano. Uh, because very enlightening po yung mga uh, manifestations din ng mga colleagues sa house. So I think all of that should be made known. I'm not sure that all of them were able to explain no i am not sure if, if, if i was trying to catch everything mr chairman on the 30-year national infrastructure plan i'd also like to hear the comments of uh, uh NEDA and the different agencies because like i said i'm very excited about it uh, as your chairman of the committee of SDGs and futures thinking uh that is exactly what i want a futures plan but uh, we need our agencies to comment on this so that uh, I'd like to be able to pass something that is uh, quite specific para we are hopefully bound by that. No, I mean, we cannot bind uh, future Congresses, but kung maganda yung plans, sino ba naman ang hihindi doon, di ba, Mr. Chairman? So I, I'm just asking for that so that we have a very good, uh, strong plan in place. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Senator Pia. Kahit na noted on that. Uh... Will uh, comply all the requirements that you ask in this uh, committee hearing. Um, now uh, I would like to um, act the, the motion of uh, Senator Bato de la Rosa. Um, I want to hear a uh, second the motion. Um, mm -hmm. Wala ibang mag-second, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I second the motion. There being no objection, there being no objection of the uh, of the motion of Senator Bato de la Rosa. Uh, I declare it is hereby approved. Um, before I adjourn the the committee hearing, I will recognize uh, Chairman Madrona uh, for his uh, short uh, statement and comment. Um, yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, Chairman Mani, Senator Bato, my colleagues in Congress. Uh, in behalf of my colleagues in Congress who have authored the 27 bills that we passed, and especially so the 30-year long-term infrastructure program that we have also passed, I would want to extend our appreciation and thanks to the senators, the Committee on Public Works and Highways, chaired by our colleagues, Senator Manny Pacquiao. And uh, rest assured that in the House, all of these bills were duly scrutinized and we deferred uh, normally, generally, on the, uh, how do you call that, on the uh, decisions of our colleagues there who know better their concerns in their respective districts. And I'm happy that Today, the Senate also considered that uh, what our colleagues in, uh, in their respective uh, in Congress felt about their respective districts. Because, of course, being representatives of our people, they are the best people, a person who can really say what they need for these districts. Thank you very much, uh, Senator. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Congressman, uh, Chairman, uh, Congressman Matrona. Uh, 
uh, counterpart uh, chairman of the uh, Public Works Committee in uh, Lower House. Hello, Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. Ah. Uh, Malis yes. na? Sir, join na. Pwede na. Okay. Um, we already discussed the uh, the topic today. Uh, I would like to thank uh, to all the uh, the resource persons today who attending the uh, committee hearing. Appreciate ko yung uh, effort ninyo kahit na putol-putol yung internet signal natin. Uh, nahihirapan akong makinig dahil malapo yung uh, dating ng signal. At least nakaraos tayo. At uh, natapos din yung uh, discussion natin and uh, nakapag-approve tayo ng uh, 20, uh, tw uh, 28 uh, Bills today, including a uh, Senate uh, bill, including the uh, two one Senate bill two one two two. So just for the record. Now um, I declare this public hearing, since uh, there are no other uh, matter to discuss, I declare it uh, adjourned. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you. Pasinsya na kayo dahil. Uh, Talagang ang internet dito.